Disney Summer Camp, one local spot is bringing kids together from all over the country who share something in common. Yeah, all the kids actually who are taking part in this camp are amputees. Our TJ Parker introduces us to some of those campers from Clinton County. 145 kids have spent the past week here at Camp Joy for AMP Camp. And those kids we spoke with today say it's a camp that gives them a sense of community. Needs the pull, not just us. Like any typical camp, pull it! new acquaintances I'll take a picture of my camera. become best friends. We all connect, like every single one of us. And best friends become family. It's my second home. Here, it's like everybody accepts you Everyone's for who you are. And I think my favorite part is there's arms and legs everywhere. And no yeah. one's afraid of like the stares that you get at home or like what people are going to think of you. Uh -huh. I'm taller. Kristen Sutherland came from Canada. She's a recent amputee and had a hard time coming to terms with it until she came to Camp Joy. It really changed my perspective. Without this camp, I, I don't know where I'd be. And we're not called Camp Joy. For nothing. Camp director Joel Van Egbert says for the past nine years they've worked with the Amputee Coalition of America to show campers they're not alone. We want kids to feel strong, and I think it gives children an incredible sense of strength to come here and do things. I think a big lesson I learned is that you don't have limits. You know, you're pushing yourself. It's okay that you don't have to compare yourself to someone else. Kids who aren't afraid to be themselves. We all connect, like every single one of us. The kids go back in the morning, and if you're interested in learning more about this program and other programs here at Camp Joy, you can log on to our website, WCPO.com. In Clinton County, I'm TJ Parker, 9 on your side.